Module 4, Segment 3, Quoting the Customer. In this training segment, we will set pricing for a quotation to a customer and print the quote to the customer. Please note that this session assumes you have already reviewed Modules 1, 2, 3, and Module 4, Segments 1 and 2. We will begin by opening a customer quotation that was previously prepared. Select the Customer Quotation icon arrow and select Browse. The Find for Browsing Customer Quotes window opens. To locate the existing quote, type in the quotation number and select OK. The Browsing Customer Quotes window opens listing the quotes that match the number you typed. To select the quote, double-click anywhere on the line. The Customer Quotation opens, which contains the part the customer is requesting. Highlight the part that you need to price and select Edit. The Editing Item window opens. The Currency Sell Price is the customer's price stated in its currency that prints on the quotation. Type the sell price in the currency sell price field. Check the markup, profit, and margin fields to ensure proper pricing. Changing any one of these fields recalculates the sell price. When finished, select OK. Once you verify the pricing, and verify that all information has been added to the quotation. We are ready to print the quote and send it to the customer. Select the Global Action button. The Global Options window opens. Select Print Quote. The Customer Quote Settings window opens. To make changes to any of the settings in this window, select Edit. You must have a destination and a document selected. We have this set up for a preview before print. Ensure that the document is STD Customer Quotation. If you used Item Notes on the quotation, be sure that Item Notes is enabled. Select the Footer Note tab. You may type in a footer note which prints at the bottom of the quote. For instance, you may want to thank the customer for their business. Review all the print settings for the customer quote to be sure it is set up how you would like. Select OK to save your changes. Select the Print Action button to preview the document. Preview the document and when you are ready, click the printer icon at the top of the preview to send the document to the printer. Select Close to return to the quotation window. To recap what we learned in this session, we opened an existing quote, priced the line items, and printed the quote to send to the customer. You may now proceed to Module 4, Segment 4, Quoting from Inventory.